Okay, this is the town off to the old Grant Township. Misfortunately, it's not very well signed. Um, the only sign that's here now is a toilet to the right here. It's actually five kilometres in off the uh, High Plain Road, and of course, it's on the right hand side. It's the old Grant uh, Cemetery. It's a historic cemetery being classified by the National Trust. And uh, it's well worth a stop and a bit of a look around. This is all part of your history. And uh, it's always good fun reading up about some of the graves and some of the people that are in the graves and the circumstances behind how they got into the graves. There's this cemetery here and there's another one down at Talbotville, which we'll stop at later on this trip. In conjunction with the Parks Victoria, and uh, in my opinion, they do a very good job. And there needs to be more of this joint working in preserving our heritage and our history. When I was up here the last time, there'd been a big fire through, and uh, you could see all the graves. But uh, as you can see now, there's a fairly heavy vegetation at the graves here in the cemetery, and it's pretty hard to find some of the graves. But we'll have a bit of a look around and see what we can find. Here and uh, it, it'd be, you have to find the, uh, the original grave uh, classification spots to work out who's in them. Bit of a shame. Died 10th of December 1870, age of 38. And Lewis Redfoot, 20th of November 2012, age 48. Not very old. On the ground. And there's a few walking tracks going around. It's now. It just marks in the ground and the bush is slowly taking them back. It is a shame, but I tell you what, it is a beautiful place to be buried. So that's for me and that's it. An amazing place, amazing bit of history. It really must be visited to believe. As you can see, I'm quite recognisable from behind. I've got the two call signs on, VK3 Alpha Mike November and the 7370480. Easy to recognise. If you see me, just stop and say,